welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Sumer Anjum and this video is all about final max exam preparation tips. I'll tell you how to score maximum number of marks in your final exam, in your max final exam in this video. So make sure to watch this video until the end without skipping. So without any further delay, let's get started. So for max exam, you have one and a half day and one morning time for revision. So in this meantime, how you're going to revise everything really matters. So keep all your max books in front of you and uh, obviously you have to revise all the chapters once again though you have practiced it number of times just go through each and every chapter each and every sum once again so open your textbook and uh, see what are the chapters which you feel tough and which you feel easy so now revision schedule depends upon you if you are like i'm okay with all the chapters you can start doing from the first chapter or from last chapter or if you are like feeling like i'm uh, i'm losing marks in a particular chapter first practice that chapter and then you go to the other chapter now, how you start the revision is just open your textbook and put your max practice book in front of you and uh, put all the four cla class works i mean put all your class works beside you so that uh, if you have any doubts you can out of 14 chapters you can divide your chapters like uh, in a half day you complete five or six chapters and the other day the whole day you'll have time right then you can practice the remaining eight or nine chapters. so let me show you how i used to revise all the chapters one by one for just for a quick revision so first we used to first we did the coordinate geometry chapter so for that chapter we, we had some formulas distance formula midpoint centroid section formula area of triangle slope all the formulas i've written in one paper so revise all the formulas be perfect with it don't get doubt don't be doubtful with the formulas revise read all the formulas perfectly and you have to know some properties of uh, square triangle rectangle right angle triangle parallelogram and rectangle because you will use this in the in problems four marks and eight marks problems will be there no you will use them there so be thorough with the concepts each and every concept be clear with it next up we have the first chapter which is real numbers real numbers is a uh, theory as well as problematic chapter so revise all the definitions from real numbers carefully here is a list of definitions so just pause the video and revise them one by one Next, you can directly go to the exercise problems and just practice them roughly. As you can see how neatly I practice the problems. So just practice them roughly and uh, proofs. Proofs also are very important. Uh, these kind of problems prove that a number is a relational number will come for 8 marks as you all know. So one of these problem will definitely be for 8 marks. So don't miss these problems. And also there is the concept of logarithms in first chapter. So one... 4 marks question will be there in this 4 marks or 2 marks will be there or 2 marks will be there from logarithms so please practice logarithms also and we can also expect an 8 marks question this sum is really important so once check out this sum also and baki remaining chote mote sums practice them all and coordinate geometry chapter you just saw the formulae revise the formulae and uh, there are diagrammatic sums in this chapter so make sure to draw the diagram neatly this gives a good presentation and they will add they will give good score for your uh, sum and uh, substitute the values very carefully here is a point where you will lose marks so after writing the formula you'll substitute uh, you'll substitute the value right then once again check what is x1 what is x1 is minus 4 y2 is 3 once again you recheck after that only go to the next one because here if you are mistaken the whole sum will be wrong don't do that mistake be careful while writing the exam and just concentrate on your paper so this is how you can present your paper neatly these are few tips for this chapter and uh, as i told you properties of parallelogram rhombus square triangle remember them Next up we have the third chapter polynomials. Oh my god, wait. Where is sets? Okay, so next we have sets. Sets chapter may you will not have much uh, sums to do. Like you will have 8 mark sums. One, so these kind of sums will come for, for 8 marks from this chapter. So when you are writing this, be careful because uh, small mistakes will be done here only. So from sets that is one point when you're writing a intersection b a union b be sure with the concepts and also there are definitions in this chapter let me show you 
second chapter right so here you go these are all the definitions one go through once go through each and every definition so that you will be clear with the concepts to score 100 one mark and two marks are really important so for this you need to be thorough with all the max concepts each and every concept even there are some scientists also remember their names also remember what they did what they what are their names and go and when diagrams from sets are good they score good marks and uh, next up we have polynomials polynomials maybe have degrees first degree second degree third degree polynomial so as you can see to remember them very uh, neatly i wrote the first I wrote the you know information about each and every degree polynomial first degree is linear polynomial its a general form is ax plus b number of terms are two number of zeros are one and degree of polynomial is one so like this write the, the three i mean till the third degree polynomial and remaining will be named as the fifth degree sixth degree and so on like this revise the theory by to yourself and practice all the sums in this chapter you'll have one division model sum this may be given for eight marks and uh, in this there are some tricky sums also in your textbook so practice uh, exercise sums and example sums also next up we have pair of linear equations in this you need to know about intersecting lines parallel lines coincident lines so when you're practicing now go go through each and every chapter no need to revise theory separately and the chapter separately when you start the chapter see how i practice i have put the heading I just wrote the theory, main main theory points, I wrote them with pen and then I started the chapter. Like this, if you do like this, you'll be thorough with the concept and in between also when you're doing the sums, you'll not get any doubts. Sums will also be regarding theory only, right? So first go through the theory and then practice the sums. And once again, be careful with the calculations. Max is all about calculations and uh, just adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing. So be careful with that. Next up we have progressions, progressions may A, P, G, P, important, uh, what is A, what is D, what is R, what is uh, A, P, what is G, P, everything be clear with that, how to find the last element of the progression, so all the sums you will have, so practice all of them neatly, carefully and also there are some formula, formula in this chapter also, so note down them and revise them. And then we have similar triangles this is also a good weighted chapter and there are theorems in this chapter pythagoras theorem bpt converse so first go through the theorems theorems are important and then all the problems these are also diag this is also a diagrammatical chapter so be sure to draw the diagrams neatly correctly name the parts also neatly use more pythagoras theorem ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square and uh, yeah that's all for this chapter diagrams and uh, OA, A, B, A, C all the uh, points be careful with that and uh, next up we have uh, this is pair of linear equations and uh, this is progression sums these are progression sums and then we have, we have tangents and secants Again, formulae, some points I've wrote here. I don't know if you can understand this, read them. And uh, here are some points from tangents and secants. And again, problems here. You will get point answers. You will get decimal answers. So, uh, do the calculations carefully. And uh, here also you will have formulae, area of triangle, uh, area of circle, all those formulae, remember. And... Uh, Max is all about this formula calculations and all. So yeah, just do them. And next we have trigonometry and applications of trigonometry. These two used to be my favorite chapters. You know, I used to lose marks in these chapters only and I used to practice them more number of times. So yeah, trigonometry will never leave you in your life. So trigonometry is very important chapter to practice well. And applications is also again a diagrammatical chapter and it is also a trigonometrical chapter tan theta all the uh, six ratios sine cos tan cosecant secant cot remember them sine 30 cos 30 wherever i ask you in between you, you have to be able to answer so this this fluency comes when you practice more number of times so remember all that carefully remember all that don't forget the logic behind the sums 
ओके एंड देन यू हैव मैंसुरेशन मैंसुरेशन वॉज नॉट देर इन माई सिलेबस बट मैंसुरेशन में यू हैव द फॉर्मूले सी दिस टेबल रीड द टेबल एंड यू कैन जस्ट डू ऑल द सम्स दिस इज वॉट माई ब्रदर टोल्ड मी बट नेक्स्ट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू थर्टीन चैप्टर विच इज प्रॉबिलिटी प्रॉबिलिटी इज काइंड ऑफ फन एंड इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर दिस इज अ लॉजिकल थिंकिंग चैप्टर सो हियर जस्ट नो द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट वॉट इज वॉट इज प्रॉबिलिटी एंड हियर आर सम बिट्स फ्रॉम थर्टीन पॉइंट वन विच विल बी आज फॉर वन मार्क्स एंड द मिनी फॉर्मुले इज पी प्लस पी बार इज इक्वल टू वन इन दिस फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल्स विल बी आज सो थिंक वंस एंड ट्वाइस एंड write the answer correctly and uh, one more concept from this chapter is about the deck of cards this is a little bit confusing but if you know about the deck of cards thoroughly you can uh, attempt any kind of question and the next one is statistics this is a tabular chapter and you will come across uh, mean median mode revise the three formula carefully and with their abbreviations because the one of the abbreviation will be asked for four marks and you'll also have a graph from this chapter so uh, mark the graph points carefully know the logic behind the sums know how and where to use the formula carefully and uh, i've missed the quadratic equation chapter so here also be careful while multiplying the terms while sending from lhs to rhs so be careful with that and yeah revise everything read the class work and uh, revise previous year question papers Till now, if you have observed in Telugu, Hindi, and English exams, previous year question papers are playing good role, good amount of role. So, for Max also, we can expect uh, questions from previous year papers. So, revise them. Again, practice all in one, all in one sums also. And uh, yeah, that's it. Revise everything and just go. You will get hundred out of hundred. Don't be scared. If you are confident, if you are brave enough to go and give the exam. you will get good marks don't be scared and uh, practice everything be happy and give your exam with 100% confidence just believe in yourself so just i gave a quick revision of all chapters i don't know if i did it uh, the right way or not you will know better so that's it for today's video i wish you all the very best for your final revision just take your textbook take your class work take your rough book and sit in a room and just complete your task after completing your task just take rest in between uh take uh, practice for an hour take 5 minutes break 5 minutes break i mean 5 minutes only okay don't take long breaks complete your syllabus and then you can relax have a nice have a good sleep and uh, once again i wanted to tell you about the paper presentation after every question draw double lines and draw the margins neatly and uh, mention the question numbers outside the margin carefully and draw the boxes for the final answer this will give a nice impression and draw the diagrams directly don't draw very light like me use uh, a good pencil uh, use a hb pencil and draw the diagrams uh, attractively and uh, yeah everything is about neatness is equal to should be in a straight line presentation and also if you use a formula somewhere mention that formula beside the step and write this write it this way write it this way then the examiner will know that you are thorough with that and you know that this formula is used here you are not writing it just like that you know what is formula and you know you know max he will know that you know max so impress the examiner in such a way that he he have to give you full lot of full so that's it for today's video i hope you all liked it and i hope it is helpful for you all so if you did make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel see you all in the next video until then take care and bye bye